This Lego model is a Technic John Deere 6130R tractor. It has building instructions so you can build your own, they are free, both for the tractor and for all of the implements I have made for it. And you can just have fun with those, they are in the description below, so easy to follow and easy to just build your own. Now since this is a Lego Technic model, it of course has some functions. And let's start by taking a look at those functions. The tractor has steering and you steer it from the interior so there's no hand of god steering. I wanted to keep it as clean as possible. But yeah, so it steers and it has a four cylinder engine with four pistons that move and they always move. And they are paired so that they are like in a real four cylinder engine so the two middle cylinders go as a pair and the two outer ones go as a pair. I don't know why Lego insists on making a wrong piston order but that's how it is. The tractor has a power takeoff both in the back and in the front. In the back it has the same system as in the class Syrian. So if you have that Technic tractor then you can put all of your implements in this tractor as well. I have attached this uh, rotary tiller which means that I can turn on the uh, power takeoff in a run direction. So if I go forward now you can see that the cutters inside of it on the blade tail inside go backwards and if I put the uh, handle back and also go forward you can see that they go forward and I can open up here in the back and I can of course turn it off by putting it in the neutral position and then they, then they do not turn. In the front it's a simpler device. I haven't put the class Syrian uh, power takeoff here because that would be a, a bit too excessive. But it just has this little power takeoff here in the button. And there you can also see the steering rack. And this is just some weights I put in front because that you often see in such a John Deere tractor. There's a little second seat here that you can fold down and you can adjust the main seat. The tractor is decorated with things you see on the real tractor. So you get the rounded wheel arches in back, you get the small steps on this side, the exhaust that is mounted here on the side and on the other side we have a fuel tank. The only strange building technique I've used here is that I am using these silicone bands to give you the yellow line along the hood. And if we take off a wheel, you can see how the mechanism works. So this is how the gearbox is uh, working inside of the tractor. And that's also why you can see that if I'm turning in one gear, it drives a bit more difficult than in the other. It is also important if you build your own to also make sure that the gears are loose so that you don't have too much of a kickback inside of the mechanism. As for the implements, I have this rotary tiller, I have a disc harrow, and over here I have this hay tether that can be folded up and there are of course building instructions for all of them as I mentioned and you can choose your own color. If you want more implements then please tell me in the comments below because they only take one day or so to design so that doesn't take as much time as a tractor that took me <laughs> two months. Now you might ask why am I suddenly making a John Deere tractor when I have so many other projects I'm going and that's because I have a client who ordered one for a Christmas present. And then I thought it might be a fun little side project and it ended up taking me two months. Now they specifically ordered a John Deere 6130R Technic tractor with these kind of wheels, so this size. And I was wondering why this specific tractor and it turns out that it's not because the person who is getting these tractors really likes that specific tractor but because Third week, another builder has built exactly this tractor. He has his own style and his tractor is beautiful and amazing and he has a, he's able to use system brakes where I'm using Technic brakes in order to really make a smooth curved hood and stuff like that. So really check it out, I'll link to it in the description below. But I don't want to just copy other people's work. So I started over with my own tractor and used my gritty in order to find out exactly how should it be designed in this scale 
And that is why it ended up taking me so long time to build this tractor instead of just copying someone else's work. And that would have been a much easier solution, but then I really think you should order with the original creator if you want their work. In any case, that's why it suddenly took me so long time to build this tractor. And how did this tractor even come along? Well, it's a very long development process, especially for me because technique is not my forte. So let's take a look at the development process. And I have an earlier prototype standing here with me on the side, right here. And as you can see, there are some differences between these tractors. The cab is a bit longer, but really the cab should be ending right over the wheels if it should be true to scale. And you can see I'm just one stud behind on the final tractor right here. I also ordered the wrong parts and brake length. These are not the right panels, but apart from that, there's not that many differences between the prototype and what I ended up building. And you can see it doesn't have a gear mechanism, so the PTO is always running. And you can see it's much simpler here inside of it compared to what I showed you with the final version. And this is also only roughly 800 parts, where this is more than a thousand. Before that model though, I experimented with other ways of building the frame for this uh, tractor. And this is the initial uh, rear wheel setup. And as you can see here, it's a bit wider than the final product. And it also has the PTO here starting a bit further back, and it turned out that these small differences really makes a big impact on the final model. So I really wanted to slim the tractor to be more accurate to scale and also have the PTO being further inside of the tractor. These small differences really mean that you have to rethink the model from scratch and that takes a lot of time. And here is a uh, earlier version of the front. You can see how the pistons move inside of this little engine. I unfortunately killed off my class in order to get the parts for this tractor, but you can see the implement here, which is uh, really just the front weights from the class, fit onto this tractor like this, so that you can drive around with the things that you usually would have for your class instead of your John Deere tractor. That's also why I choose this kind of PTO, because then you could reuse the stuff you might already have if you have that tractor. I hope you have that tractor because it's one of the best Lego Technic models that I've seen in many years. It has some really cool uh, steering features. This is an early prototype of the hood where I used plates instead of having the uh, silicone band solution. So this is more similar to what uh, the third big version of the tractor is. But he also has some nice curved pieces that I don't have, which makes it really, really nice. But as soon as you have these rig built pieces of the tractor, it really, really changes the look of the full model. So I prefer to really keep it as much technical as possible, similarly to how Lego designs so their own technic models. And so this is the result. I hope that you enjoy that. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you might even want to build your own John Deere tractor in any case. And that's it for now. Take care, have fun, and hopefully I'll see you next time and that it won't take two months for me to create the next video.